New beginnings, uh, new beginnings. Wake up high, the sun's going down. Time to start your day, bro. Can't keep being laid on. Oh, you need the money if you gon' survive. Hello, everyone. We are getting ready for the second half of action. Hayes and Hall Productions. Yep. Are here with you. Here we go. I think my mic's Ten to eight, there. Jordan, as we get ready to go here, and we're gonna do some featured players on Jordan. And the player to watch is number twenty-two, Lauren Turner, dominant in the face-off circle. Draw. Um, and draw. when she gets back behind that net, she can make some moves and score some goals. We have to draw here, Ben. Did they switch side? Oh, they do switch sides. Okay. Scramble for the ball, we got a foul. And then on the Gators, we are going to feature Katie Hunter, number five. Four goals in that first half, looking to add upon that. The Gators are going to need to if they're gonna come out victorious in this one. Jordan Ball here, Ben's featured player, and obviously, like he said, for a good reason. Had an amazing first half. Seems very evasive on the ball, Ben, but as I say that, maybe I announce your dinkster, and that's a really great outlet pass, and Vic on the run here. Two defenders try to stop her, but it doesn't affect her. She keeps running, looking for a teammate. Takes it herself. We got some lane fillers here. Oh, she did not see the cuts, and maybe a missed opportunity there, but Gator still have the ball. Swings it around back. Oh, go to the middle pass. Oh, pass. we got a no foul. Three Falcons there. Yeah, but that was a very high risk reward play there. Yep. Risky pass, you know, you either convert it and you shoot or it's a turnover and unfortunately the bladder happened. 23-33 remain in this Down early bit goes. of the second half. There's a whistle. What happened? Oh, she's got it, okay. Runs, runs through three defenders. I guess those are the attack players, but looking for an angle. Goes in, falls. Ooh. We got a foul for Jordan. That might be a free shot. Uh, does it have to be a uh, certain uh, length in, or is it just that type of foul? I think you're right, Ben. I think you nailed it. Going down like that, I like have a hard to foul. imagine. Oh, yeah. Go look at the goalie, Ben. You can see. Madison getting Madison. ready for the onslaught here. Yep. Already saw two goals off the free shot, but we won't see a third one. Big save on this one. Ben, maybe, you know, picked up on a few of the keys that they were shooting. You know, they shot that same side on the, on the left side of the field, and third time was not the charm. Pretty low shots, too. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Trying to go down near the legs. Seems harder to save that, you know. They have to, maybe a more awkward situation. Vic, I believe that's Vic on the ball. Dodging the swipes from Lauren Turner. I mean, then I would think she would be very hard to attack on defense, too. Tall, that stick is really long, and that would be tough to you know, convert some of those passes. Almost blanket one of the players on defense. But trying to get Vic by. going all she the way does. in, shoots. And a green low. Did that not go in? No, it shot low, but it actually got stuck in the net, but only Vic saw it, and she picked it up. I, I totally get why you call a goal. It went under the net. Crazy. Vic now. I think as Ben said, circling the wagons. That's quote of the day. And the may go foul. And that should be a free shot. Right? Or is, it, is it a free shot? Yeah. Okay. I think if they foul Ben inside that line, it's usually a free shot. Middle there. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what happened to the Jordan player too. Same spot. Free shot for Meg here. This is one she wants to bury. Looks around. Meg shoots. Oh, saved wow. by the knee. Oh, we got a. Whose ball? Yeah, it looks like Gators. Ben, another low shot. Kind of seems like the trend for the free shots. Maybe. Oh, we got another free one here. Another one, Ben. Who's taking it here, Cameron? Uh, can, can you see the number? I can't. I am on the left side, so I have more of a straight view.
harder for me to see the numbers, but I want to say that's Ad, but I could be wrong. No, it's not. Uh, number five, Ben. Is that Katie on the shot? I couldn't tell. Nine. Meg. Oh, it was Shoot. McCall. Oh, oh, it'll be Gator Ball, though. And that would have been a hat, tr a hat trick if she got it. Yep. She has, like, three assists, too, so would have had the triple assist, triple hat trick. Accolade, whatever that would be called. Long possession here. No goals in the first five minutes. Can the Gators break this? Break the trend. Next goal vital. Jordan would take a three-goal lead. Gators would cut it to only one. Meg looking for the cutter again. Fakes the pass. Spins around. Looking for a shot. Has it. Shoots. Scores. And a big green level goal. That is Meg. That is a hat trick. Joining Katie. And that was a really night. physical goal you saw. Almost fought off basically two defenders that were swiping at her stick. That's what they need, right? They need the confidence to wrap around and shoot those shots, right? Oh, Meg yeah. took it on her own and huge goal. 1951 remain in the second half and the Gators keeping this one close, keeping it exciting. We got a one goal game. Cameron, we are really seeing that Meg Katie connection oh, yeah. coming together for the Gators. They've combined for seven of the nine goals here tonight. Yep. I mean, obviously, a certain extent of that is there the attack, right? But at the same time, they still have to shoot the ball. You know, like they they have to convert those chances that they're they're most you know that they're getting the most, and they have been really great from that spot. One thing I like, though, Ben, they missed the free shot, right? They didn't let that bring them down, though. They still ended up scoring. You know, that could have been a momentum breaker, but nope. Gators still get the ball. Gators still score. Number 22 in her favorite position. Yeah. I know the Gators were working a double team on here behind that net earlier. Yeah. Wow. I think it's kind of hard to do that, though. You do that, you open up a cut. Yeah. yeah. It's a tricky situation to be in. They seem to stop all the incoming cuts for the moment. Oh, she gets a free lane, but oh, it's deflected away. Will I'm telling you, risky number 22 that wraparound. The Gators ball, Ben. Wow, man, that is just a huge play, right? Key play, she had yeah. it in the spot she wanted, but I don't know if it was saved or deflected. But whatever it is, it's not in the back of the net, and that's all that matters. So, Gators ball trying to get it out, and that is just. Aggressive defense, and that's a steal. It's a, and a free shot, away. two on one, and that's a goal. Not much that uh, Madison, Madison can do, do about that one. one. Uh, I think it's number two. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, I did not catch who that was. I want to say two. Yeah, best two. guess is two. two. Emery goal Carroll. Number two, Alrighty, once more we have an essential draw. I believe that's number 22. Is that number 22? Yes, it is. That's Gracie. Trying to win it again. No, that's Gracie on it. Oh, Gracie. Yeah, for some reason, but they took her off the draw. I'm not sure exactly why, but they did. That's Meg now. Meg. Looking for a pass, finds it. In the slot. Number 20. Oh, save. Kaylin had a perfect opportunity. A good shot, but an even better save. And we got a Jordan play on the ground foul. Oh, man, Ben. That was a great chance. That's just a... I mean, that Jordan goalkeeper, Ben, she stepped up huge a couple times this game, I've noticed. Made a couple key saves, and that's really been the difference maker. Those couple saves on the free shot and everything. Wrap around, shoots, saved. Green level ball. Gator possession. Then this half seems to be a lot more hectic, right? We saw a lot more. If they have the ball, they score in the first half. Wouldn't you agree? Like, this seems to be a lot more change of possession. 
Yeah, I mean, second I mean, half now. The game is coming down to the wire. The the oh. defense. Oh. And uh, just stays in play. But unable to pick it up is the Jordan. Number the Jordan 21. Uh, midfielder. Oh, lost again. Kaylin unable to keep it. Gator possession. And I think everybody on the team had a lot of chance to make the play. But number 21 wanted the ball on the sideline, unable to grab it, and foul or something. Timeout? What's, what's called here? The ref calls what's being called here? Olivia back to that white line. I'm not exactly sure what that ruling is. But she has the ball. Mm -hmm. Olivia looking for a pass. But she is a defender. She cannot pass that red line and maybe affected her pass a little bit. Too worried about the line. I'm not sure, but goal score number two. She's been instrumental in this Jordan comeback. Get her swarming the ball. Oh, they call a foul, but Ben, that was aggressive defense there. Aggressive defense. That was a double team. Yep. That was a triple team, actually. Maybe a quad team. <laughs> Vic now on the ball. Oh, Jordan. Oh, goes to the ground. No foul, though. It was clean. A lot more fumbling of the ball. Players may be getting a little more tired. Not as fresh as they were in the first half, but still some great play so far. Passes it in. Oh, Vic. Oh, that goes through the back. Was that, who was that on the ball? Jordan I possession. Tell. I think it was Vic. I'm trying. Maybe it was Maddie. I don't know. I think it was Maddie, actually. Yeah, it was Maddie. 15.25 left to go in the second half of action. Not much has changed since halftime, Cameron. A lot more of a defensive half we've seen. Um, Whoa. Gators are still in this one, but they're going to need a couple of goals here to, to really give themselves a chance to win down the stretch. Kaylin on defense here on Gracie. Tough matchup. Knocked out. And it'll be Jordan Ball. Oh, Gator Ball. Katie. Great play in by Katie. And that triple team. Wait, how is it their ball? Is it, they knocked it out. Is it still? I don't know. Oh, okay. Like, with full possession. Well, you learn something new every day. I learned that. So if you, if the other team has the ball, but you just clean knock it out of play, it's your ball. So, even more Ben incentive to double team there. Like, if you knock it out, it's your ball. And that's what they did. Meg. More aggressive defense from both teams this half, especially oh yeah, the, the, the Gators. And ben it is a little early, but this is almost, would you say, a must score possession. This is huge. Not that much time left. Mm -hmm. And it gets to the point where a Jordan goal are backbreakers, right? You really need to get these goals on the board. And Vic's trying to do that. Vic, all the way, what do we have here? Referee makes an X sign. And that's a, f that's a free shot. I bet um, this free shot is space. dead center. Can go anywhere she wants. Here we go. A lot of room, too. That's the what I mean. Jordan defenders are going to have to close fast. Oh, yeah. Vic goes in. Shoot scores. And the top right corner goal. That is Vic. Wow. Gets the Gators to 10. And then what I really, really liked there, she didn't. Oh, number ten, Nick Martinson. She didn't just run straight ahead, you know, because she knew the Jordan defense would converge. She said, "I'm gonna do one cut, get it on my strong hand, I assume, and buried it." The Jordan defense converged, but the gate is diverged. Oh, for the <laughs> Ben's using all his vocabulary. <laughs> well.
All right, everyone, we're at the 1340 mark of this second half. A low scoring second half that has seen the Gators score two goals yep. and Jordan sc score uh, one, I believe, Cameron, right? That is correct. We are in for a close one here. It is 11 to 10. One thing I've noticed, a bit of a random comment, mm. but the Gators do their timeouts on the field while Jordan does theirs in that little right-hand corner over there. It's a very interesting observation. You're not wrong. I didn't really think about it either, but it's kind of like taking your play in the huddle or taking your play at the line of scrimmage. I guess the Gators have the home field. They get to take their time out on the field. <laughs> eh, well, we will see. Does it help them win a draw? Yes, sir. We'll find out. Then what I've noticed is they, and then you can agree or disagree, they took 22 off the draw a couple times. And when they did, they lost both of them, no? Or had a lot more trouble with both of them. Like there was a foul the Gators did, but other than when they fouled, they lost the draw. If I'm the coach, and I, I don't know if there's a rule, uh, if you can't do this, if there's like too many times you can be on the draw, I don't think there is, I would put her on every single one. I, I well, I think they're gonna, you know, do what I am applying here, and I just would never take her off the draw. She's so much taller, she can flick the ball straight up in the air and grab it. And it's a huge advantage, so I gotta see that happening again then. But it's not everything, right? The ball flies a different way. Vic can snatch it up, and just like that, Gators that ball. Maybe Kaylin can grab it too, so you never know. Big draw here. It's a one-goal game. Like I said, ball goes flying. And it is Jordan who gets the flying ball. Not what the Gators were hoping for, but still... The gate is pressing on defense, but number 22 opens it up here. Yeah. Lots of options on the edge. She's one of the players, Ben, that pressing is what you have to do to keep her out of the goal, but at the same time, you open yourself up to some jukes and goals, you know? A little risky. Gracie passes it out. Lauren. For an attack on Katie, goes to the Ooh. ground. I couldn't, I mean, I hate to say that's a little bit of a flop there, but <laughs> she went down pretty hard. No, I, I mean, I'm not sure. Um, a little contact there, and, you know, the players are smart. They know what level of contact can get what foul, you know, and I think that's what happened there. Hey, hey, we got some Duke slander. We got some Duke slander in the booth, and I'm, I'm not really a big fan of it, but um, <laughs> we got Lauren on the drive here. Looking to score. And Ben had a little bit of a double team help there. Prevents her from doing her drive. Turn, shoot, scores. Ooh, that's number two again, Ben. She has been, yep. you definitely say, the MVP of the last 15 minutes for, for Jordan. Second goal for number two. Is it her second? goal, number two. Abigail Fish. I feel like she has more than two. She scored at the very beginning, and then she scored two since. Uh, okay. I right, just go. The Falcons regain that two-goal advantage. The Gators are going to need to win some draws here. Whatever yep. their best draw strategy is, we need to see it coming, coming pretty soon. Only a dozen minutes left. bit of a screen there. What was a screen? Gracie, is that Gracie with it? It is, Ben. She took it all the way from the midfield line to there. Oh, the cut. Unable to find it. Lauren looking for that wraparound, Ben, but it seems like the Gators, they seem more prepared, or they're, they're looking more prepared, you know? 
Trying to bring that double team down if they need it. Whoa, we got a person fall. I don't know if that was a foul on Jordan, but nothing was nothing was called, so play will keep going. Lauren Turner. Oh, we got a on the ground. Another foul. I believe that is another foul. It is, Ben, in a very similar situation. Number 22, with all those moves she's making. There's another one. Didn't shoot that time. Kind of surprised. You know, Jordan is really content to just, you know, have it behind that net and wait for these opportunities here. Yeah, Ben, you got to get a stop here. Three goal lead, 10 minutes. I mean, is it doable? Of course, but. I yeah. like that from the Gators. A little bit more of a press behind that net. I agree, Ben. But Wrap around, inside number 22 with the goal. Number 22, Lauren Turner. And that is a fourth for Lauren Turner tonight. We talked about that dominant Katie Meg combo in the offensive zone for the Gators. Just as dominant, number 22 and number 13 have scored eight of Jordan's 13 goals here in this game. The and I believe we have a timeout. I think it's the last one. I, I could maybe, I don't know. At the 10 minute mark, we have a timeout. Alrighty, guys, after that Gator timeout, 10 minutes left to go in this one. The Falcons have a three goal lead. Yeah. And we are ready for Meg on the draw against. Is that number 22 once yeah. more, Cameron? I think they uh, unintentionally heard me, Ben. I probably was talking about they should put her on the draw every time. That's what they're starting to do. Meg, definitely an uphill battle, but. She can win it. It would be huge for the Gators. Yeah. And we have and a scramble. They got the it. Ben, that is huge. Something we haven't seen much in almost, you'd say, the past 30 minutes. Like, it's been a big problem to draw. It's, been, it's a huge win. And uh, I know I said earlier, must score. With only nine minutes to go, it's a must score. You have to score here. Whether it be via a free shot or taking it in yourself, you got to get a point on the board here. Meg. Sizing up her opponent, deciding what she needs to do here. Spins. Passes it. All the way at the back. I believe that's Maddie. Rotates. Inside. Oh, oh, man. What happened there? We got a foul. Free shot? Or it's in the arc, isn't it? Not. 
Okay. Go Vic! Vic with another chance, man, to redeem herself. The foul will save the day. Yeah. Gators have a chance to narrow that lead to two here. Vic now dear enough. Here we go. Has a little bit more space than last time, Ben. How will she use it? Will she get I on see that a strong right hand? I, I see a charge at the net. That's what okay. I see here. Let's see. Charge at the net. Gets in. Saved. Picked up, though. Right? Yep. Man, that Jordan keeper. She's been really good. Yeah, yeah. making those timely saves. Luckily for the Gators, though, it is saved, but it's not you know, the chances are not out. Still have the ball. Still can get on the board. Vic. Nice move. Kind of a stalemate here, Ben. Waiting for the for each person to make the next move, you know? Unsure. Goes around the back here. Maybe looking for a wraparound or a cut. Haven't really seen much cuts here. Spins off, two, shoots, scores. And that is a goal. Oh, they're saying no goal. For they what? wave it off. For what? Oh, is it like a scoop or what, what happened there? I'm lost. And they give Jordan the ball back. No, I think I think they point it left. I'm I'm. Uh, we are learning as we go, but the guy the guy in the black shirt, Ben, called it a no goal, and the other one said it was a goal. So <laughs> they made opposing signals. Did, did the you refs see the get point? together, and they're talking about it here. Did you not see him point like it was a goal, and then the other one was shaking his hands? I saw the ball in the net. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, the only guess I could have here, Ben. Only Anyways, a big call that favored Jordan here, and that's uh, the only guess they get possession back. The way it was shot, Ben, it almost looked like an an underhand shot. Oh, we got the ball back though. Maybe a little makeup call from the ref. Makeup call? Oh, I see what you're saying. For uh, yeah. yeah. We apologize, but we're not too acclimated in terms of the fouls. We try our best here, but number thirteen was that number thirteen? Abby. With the bright green stick. For a lane here. Meg around the back. Shoot scores. I think that's Abby, right? Or is it not? That one won't be waved off, folks. No. I think it's third. Yeah, it's it's Abby. Gator goal, number 13, Abby Root Camp. Alrighty, fellas, 24 on the board, 13 to 11, seven minutes to go. Ben, I believe in the business, that's what they would say, ball doesn't lie. They deserve the goal and they got their goal. If the Gators score next, it's a one goal game. However, Jordan, quick yeah. to it on that draw. I mean, and Ben, I know we're talking in desperation and for good reason, but there's still a lot of time within this game, seven minutes. The only problem is if Jordan has the ball, they can kill the clock. And that's one thing they can't allow. Seven minutes, though. Lots of goals to score. Sure. Lots of goals to score. Ooh, limping there. there. What happened? Oh, hopefully she's okay. Oh, no. That did not look good. A non-contact no, non injury. injury here. Oh. oh, no. We will be quiet. You hate to see her. that.
All right, guys, we have Gators and Falcons, both with their knees down on the field. A terrible injury. We hope she is okay. She does get up here. A good sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praying for the best. and Hall Productions is back into the action here. Unfortunate injury, Jordan, Jordan player, Grace Davis, gingerly walking off. Wish the best for her. Lauren Turner, solid bit of a double team there, Ben. And they really need to start pressing anything, Ben. Like, she just looks like she's just chilling there, waiting for her chance to strike, and they need to be pressing. One yeah, this is this is the time for Gator turnover down two goals, yeah. six minutes to go. Lauren makes a move. Oh, we, got we have a whistle. Something. And is that Gator ball? Um, Maybe I not. I see Lauren complaining, so I believe it is then. Oh, it is. I saw the ref signal I, something. She must have moved <laughs> under a certain line. I, beats me, but... Whatever it is, it results in the ball to the Gators. So Meg now charging down the midfield, hit in the face. Ben, and that seemed like a leader called in a couple of the Jordan players in the in the attacking side for them. A little late, but they get the foul. Meg passes it off to Katie. A little bit of a break here. If they can, if they can strike quick. Open room to the left. Yeah. Likes to trying to find the pass. The okay. Five, exactly five minutes remain. The, what is that? What do we got? They call Jordan possession, I believe. I don't know, man. I don't think so. Uh, apparently not. Uh, I saw shot. that side judge over there. Maybe they fouled inside the area? I think it's just a foul. So, yeah, it's just a foul. Well, reset, but still Gators ball. Vic charges in. If there's ever been a time for that Meg Katie connection, this is the time. That's Meg. Meg shoots goal. And a goal. With 4.23 left, that's four on the day for Meg. And perhaps the comeback is, well, it's definitely got started. goal, Meg Wilson. And then two goals in about, what, two minutes? Two and a half? Just oh. as I was saying, we yeah. need that Meg Katie combo. Meg stuffs one. Yep. A pretty long shot, too. That's one of the longer ones we've seen today. I think it has been the longest one. Maybe off a free shot from the Jordan player, but on an open field play, that's definitely the longest one. So. And we have a tight one here. The end of the women's lacrosse game. Green level versus Jordan. 13 to 12. Four minutes to go. What an ending we are in for, Mr. Hull. Now looking to win another draw. Go straight back to Kaylin. Oh, oh, the Gators, they had a shot at it there. Oh, up, oh, still on the ground. Mm. And we got a foul. Yeah. Meg grabbing her nose. This is a dangerous player with the ball, number 22. Double team. I like it. They need to stick with that double team. Pushing her back. And then I would much rather see something like that. You know what I mean? As opposed to just kind of letting her roam free. 
they need an aggressive defense. And the second half, we have seen it. And Ben, you have to think if Lauren does not have the ball, they have to be pressuring, right? Like, I would agree with you there, Cameron. She's the most dominant ball, ball controller, wouldn't you say? And if she doesn't have it, there needs to be aggressive defense being played because maybe they can turn it over and mess up. It's very, very possible. But Inside, but I think they're playing some games here. They're trying to keep the ball out of the Gators' hands, keep possession along that edge. They're trying to run the clock. Yeah. Pretty heavy, actually. Less than three minutes to go. They have that lead. They also have a possession of the ball. The double team route. fails. And that is a huge goal. Lauren Turner, fifth on the day. Gordon goal, number 22, Lauren Turner. Ben, good, well, definitely good news. Grace Davis looks like he's ready to check back in. That is good news. Okay, this, Cameron, now is pretty much a must-win draw or else Jordan's just going to run this clock out. I agree. They're going to have a chance for it. Oh, oh, they have it. Here comes Meg. Huge, Ben. Okay, they're going to have a shot. You want to be urgent with this attack, but at the same time, the goal is most important. If it takes you a minute, it takes you a minute, you know? You must score. I agree. Meg spinning around. I would Behind love to net. see a Meg wrap around here, be their attack. Maybe Katie or Vic on a cut. She's going for that wrap around. Trying to force it in. Scores. And that is a huge goal. No goal allowed. Oh. But that is an offensive foul oh. called on the Gators, which will give the ball back to Jordan at 216 to go. Maybe a little too physical there on the wrap around, Ben. But Great effort by Meg there. Yeah. Really pushed through the whole defense there, and it just unfortunately was not enough with the foul being called. But Richard! then I, you need to see all out defense here, right? Two minutes to go, down two goals, you have to pressure. That's the pressure. I think they called a foul. One minute and 39 seconds remain. Jordan. With possession up, two goals stolen. Vic, huge steal. Gotta think the Gators will be pushing and pushing hard here. Quick passes Storming down. and powerful shots are gonna be needed here. Must score here, Ben, on the attack. Behind the goal. They still have a minute left, even, okay, so if they score relatively quick and run the jaw, there's plenty of time. Score and win the draw. Oh, That's the formula. Falls out and oh. Number 22, the player of the game so far. Making the plays on the offensive side of the ball and then really possibly a game ender on the defensive side of the ball right there. Yeah, Less than a minute to go. 14 to 12, 45 seconds. The Gators need a miracle. Good to see number 13 back with the ball, though. No foul there. The ref had his hand on the whistle. No foul, however. He never gets the ball. He got to go quick, Ben. Got to go real quick ASAP. here. 17 seconds. Make, a pass up the field. make that pass. Got to make that pass. He's just going to go and shoot it, Ben. Or just shoot it. Give it a shot. Oh, a little too late. Unable to get around the Jordan defenders. And as time winds and down here. And that will be it. Buzzer blows. We'll have a final score of 14 Jordan Falcons to 12 Green Level Gators. And I'll let you sign us off here. Yeah, an impressive performance That's for the Gators score. tonight. Jordan 14, Gators 12. And, you know, it was just a very defensive second half, and the Falcons snuck away with it.
signing off from Hazen Hall Productions. Just a reminder that we do have another game following. Uh